What's up, HBCU Game Day family? It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James. I'm live down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's a beautiful Saturday, and I'm going to check out both teams as they hit the diamond. Right here, the Texas Southern player makes contact with the ball, but ends up grounding out to first. There's one out down. Southern needs one more for their chance to take over. The Lady Jags utilize Raquel Lada on the mound today. Texas Southern slices at this pitch, ends up being a foul. Then she comes right back and she pops this one in the air, gives Southern that last out that they need, looking to go into the bottom of the 10th with a walk-off victory. On the mound for Texas Southern was Rodriguez, and if they wanted a chance to get another at-bat, she would have to be clutch right here in the bottom of the 10th inning. Nonetheless, the Lady Jaguars' first at-bat was first baseman Alana Mark, and she comes up big. She smacks one for a double, hits it off the gate, and she drives in the winning run. Your final, the Lady Jaguars 5, Texas Southern 4. But that was game two of the series. The final game of the series went to Texas Southern as they beat the Lady Jags 5-1. to one. Now let's switch over to the men's side. No matter what sport event we're attending, if Gremlin State is playing Southern University, it's the Bayou Classic of that very said sport. So today, we have both teams rocking the retro Negro League jerseys. I was really trying to get me one, the New York Cubans jersey was pressure. Coach Davin, the interim head coach, but has been there ever since I was at Gremlin State back in 2007. He has the boys ready, and we're going with Ja'Cory Boudreaux on the mound today. Let's get to the game. Southern utilized Anthony Fadanza on the mound, and he came out throwing strikes, and he also came out walking some people. Gremlin State Shamar Page pops one up in the air, and the Southern University player tracks it down, catches it for the final out of the inning. Jacoy Boudreaux walks the first Southern batter, and I have a slight feeling that number two is going to try to steal. After seeing the runner on first take off with a nice little lead, Boudreaux wants to check him. So he checks him. And eventually, it pays off. Gremlin catches him trying to sneak over the second, gets the out, and closes out the inning. When two rival teams play, you can expect it to get chippy. You'll have a couple pitches like this. And then you'll even have the pitcher coming over and asserting himself by making it out physically. Gremlin State's Julian Murphy cracks him a nice triple, and he shows some speed as he gets around those bags. That's a little distance, and he was walking it. Next, Gremlin connects again on the ball and drives in their first run, and the battle was actually safe. It was an error by the first baseman for Southern. Southern University gets on the board as Tab Hunter drives in their first score, but he was called out at first. Southern University catcher Taj Porter, he pops one up in the air as well, and Gremlin State University tracks it down to get the final out of the inning. Now, sadly, I missed the home run shot by Trevor Hatton, but I did get the celebration, and my boy tried to windmill it. Southern University kept swinging the bat, but the Gremlin State defense in the outfield were doing their job, slowing down every opportunity the Jaguars believed to have. Taj Porter comes back to the plate, and this time, he gets him a nice single, ends up at first base, and over there, you know, still a rival. So, Shamar gives him a little nudge. 
Gremlin State comes up big at the plate right here. They get a triple. They drive in a few runs. And if you pay attention closely in the background, you'll see my man make it to third base, and he comes in head first. With the crowd just under 600 people, the game and atmosphere was still one of those that you could only expect in HBCU atmosphere. Also in attendance at the game was former Jackson State baseball player and the 2017 MLB draft pick in the 15th round, Bryce Brown, who is a native of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It was a great day for baseball and softball on the bluffs in Baton Rouge. Your final at this game here, Grambling State 11, Southern University 5. Once again, it's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and you're watching HBCU Game Day.